Okay, I have never played Drawd 4 or Drawd 1 through 3, or I've never heard of Drawd. I have no idea what this is. Um, came out in 2012, it looks like. I don't know what genre it's in, what kind of game it is at all. Uh, desktop. Looks like it's mouse and keyboard only. Settings. Snacking the internet matter at all here? I want me to use the keypad. Yeah, I should be able to do that. Do I need the the mouse very much for this? Play tutorial. Smite Master, a dungeon exterminator. The nobility of dungeons often need to be cleaned of monster infestations. Smite Master is a profession taken seriously in the world of the eighth. Put contending line train to be a smite master in clearing school. Bethro Budkin's early experience at clearing school. Okay. Bethro, let's get your lesson started. To move, you press the keys on your numeric keypad. Eight for up, two for down, four for left, six for right. Follow me up to the north room and we'll continue. Audio balance seem okay. Turn numlock off. Easy. Quit to any time you're resting escape. Okay. You'll need to use your sword too, of course. The W and Q keys will turn your sword clockwise and counterclockwise. Hit oh. the two orbs in this room to open the yellow doors. It's a sequence like this in um Buttermitten Grove. Well done. Alright, let's go. Let's make sure you can move diagonally. I see, I Use the teleport seven, into those nine, spaces. One, and three keys for that. Follow me. Got it. Press five to wait instead of making a move. Press R to restart the current room. If you get stuck. Pressing backspace allows you to undo the... Okay, let me, I'm going to write some of this down in a future Marsed file. One second. So draw it for R restarts room, backspace, uh, undoes the last move, uh, num keys, move, and diagonals. UW is sword rotation, right? Okay. 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 Touching an X saves your progress in the middle of a room. Okay, that's cool. Get R to restart after touching a checkpoint. You'll rewind play the last time you touch the checkpoint. Then I repeatedly rewind time through further previous checkpoints. Press 5 to wait instead of making a move. Gotcha. Okay. Serve the mini map in the bottom left. It shows the rooms you visited so far. The current room's highlighted in the center of the map. Click it to show the level. Click other rooms to view them briefly. Well, that's the end of the lesson. You've graduated clearing school. You didn't even explain how to fight monsters. What are you, some kind of baby? Well, if you really must, take the passageway to the east for a good lesson. But if you think you can figure things out on your own, go down the stairs. Also, if you're the type that doesn't like listening to speeches, you can skip playing dialogue by pressing space at any time. Got it. Secret rooms. Don't need to find them. Press enter to view information about your play in the current room. So how does this work with the online play? It's just like you're doing like puzzle rooms with other players. Clearing all secret rooms will master the hold, enabling you to access top secret bonus areas hidden behind master walls. So that's showing that I can sometimes bump into a wall to see if there's a secret there, I guess. Okay, I'll keep going. Roaches, basic AI. 
Steps directly towards you every time you make a move. Take a turn, then the enemy takes a turn. Plan and move carefully. Okay. Hit them with your sword to kill them. Got an 11 combo. Use the battle key to mirror your last move. Ah, uh, okay. Battle key plus mirrors last move. Okay. Queen roaches try to run away and hide from you every 30 turns. Queen spawn baby roaches at hatch. Watch for the threat clock. Repair to fight new roaches when it reaches 30. Okay. Put your sword in the right direction before stepping next to a monster. Gotcha. Oh. Evil eyes attack when they see you in their line of sight. Stab of your sword will finish them off. Wreath wings, flying creatures that only attack you in groups, corner them to defeat them. <laughs> Spiders are invisible when still, unless B throws two squares away or less. Watch out for dens or they might be lying in wait. Okay, cute. Good existing letter and applied random distortion to every letter. Serpents are invulnerable to your sword. Catching their head in a trap is the best way to get rid of them. Stand behind the trap and wait to guide them into it. That's cool. So it's kind of like a puzzle game, I suppose. Oh, I see. I have to open this. Interesting. Verse snake. Elevance north. Rock golems. I see. Boulders and block my movement. Okay, gotcha. It's kind of like uh, Adventures of Lolo. Brains, monsters charge towards you in straight lines. You can hide behind obstacles to avoid them. Brains guide monsters toward you along the quickest open path. Clear the room of brains to remove this effect. This is a cool game so far. arrows you don't move against them okay ortho tiles you're not allowed to move diagonally onto or off of these tiles hence ortho okay Tunnels move in the direction it faces. While standing on it, you'll exit at the next tunnel in that direction. Green doors open when all deadly monsters in the room have been defeated. Bombs and fuses. Step on the fuse to light it. It will burn further with each move you make. If spark reaches the bomb, it will explode. King on bombs highlights their area of effect. Red doors and trap doors. Trap doors fall down when you step off of them, but are not dangerous to stand on. Drop all the trap doors in a room to open red doors. Mm -hmm. 
Trap doors and redoors reset each time you enter a room. But maybe there'll be something over there. Seep live within the walls. They will jump out and grab you if you stand too close. Kill them, either stab them, destroy the wall they're in, or open the door they're in. stuff blue tar blocks your way and needs to be stabbed on a flat edge to break it up into baby tar blobs that will chase after you interesting tar blobs made up of only round corners cannot be damaged by your sword I'm going to stabbed on a round oh it's the opposite of tar okay Vision tokens let you see what's under tar stuff. Override the tar opacity settings by clicking change setting. That's helpful. Green gel must be stabbed on inside corners to break it up. So like that is an inside corner, okay. Go diagonally here, I'm gonna die, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so they always try to like perfectly path toward me, I see. Gotcha. Sure, got it. Stepping on tar, mud, and gel switch tokens will swap the composition of tar, mud, or gel with the other color type. Okay, let me write this down because this will confuse me later. So blue gel must be cut in the center. Red gel must be cut on corners. Green gel must be cut on inside corners. Enemies always follow you, so you may need to lure off screen. Uh, Diagonal can go through blocked spaces. Purple gel is lemon scent. Then you say you're prepared to make a name for yourself as a smite master. Move carefully, fight well, good luck. Master completes two full years of training to receive his clearing school certificate. So are the, the earlier Drawd games very similar to this one? Gun throw in the epic blunder prologue. Ethro Budkin, fifth generation smite master. Shot today after clearing 25 levels of King Dugan's dungeon. Tons of days of the roasted roach grill. Ethro draws deep seven, he's a storm approaching. Ah, my favorite nephews. So. You knuckle bumps want to hear a story? We do, we do! You don't have any dishes to wash or anything? I don't like being interrupted once I get started. No. Uh -uh. All right. My grandpappy Gunthrow Budkin grew up in residence. So this is just the dev voicing what? it. No. Anyway, he told me this tale when I was a lad. He became known as one of the greatest dungeon exterminators in the land. This is a tale of adventure, war, intrigue, mystery, and stupidity. What about roaches? What's that? Roaches are cool. Sure. And tasty. Okay. So begins the saga of Gunthrow Budkin. So, Gunthrow was returning from a job clearing out old Carbuncle's dungeon. No, it's it's cute. It's charming. Wait, I never heard of Carbuncle. Did he live here in Dugandy? No, of course he didn't live here. As I said, Gunthrow was up north in Razarus. 
Gunthro was traveling through the glum cove when tragedy struck. Hey, that looks like old Rarsis, the king of Razorus. But who is that with him? Someone in a Twainan officer's uniform? Looks like it might be the Twainan captain himself. Eek! I ain't seen nothing here. Flamin' for Gundam. He's killed the king. Treachery! I've got to tell the guard before he gets away. Pinch. I only take passengers on official Razoran business. Based on the beginning, I was really expecting it to just be like dungeon rooms. It's kind of cool that there's an overworld. I could help, but our forces here are weak. Love that he got all his friends to record on so different weak, microphones. You smash them with your sword. Have you tried asking the court for help? Secret room, hey, nice. This must be where the king stayed when he came to visit this part of Razor. And like a key to open those, then. Make sure there's not a. Uh controller setting here. Oh shoot, what happened? No. Continue playing. Okay. There's not like a key bind I can do, right? To interact with that chest. So I, I'm not allowed to interact with the chest yet, right? Come back later when I have a key or something. Our walls of the Razor and Court are nearly impregnable. Never played it before, this is my first time Does DROD stand for something? Here to see the court, are you? No way you're getting in, fella Think they're wasting their time with any old fool? It's urgent, Dude. the king's been killed Ha, huh. I've heard better Pull the other one, buddy I suppose next you'll tell me we're on the verge of an international incident. Nothing you say is going to convince me to open this door. Hmm. This is no good. I'll have to find another way in. Huh. Never played one before, huh? Hey there, chum. If you want in to see the court, try this way. It's a bit more work, but probably your only option. Gunthro had no problem opening the yellow doors barring his way to the court by using the orbs nearby. Can I learn how to do that too? Sure. Now hush. 
that so I can come back the other way, of I course. see. Gunthrow realized that as well as opening yellow doors, or to close them too, or even toggle between open and close. Important thing to share in the story. Okay. Red is close. Blue is open, orange is toggle. Whoa. I like unclick them, okay. diagonally over and through small gaps. I that that's part of the story. What do you mean, being a professional? I can do that, and I'm just a kid. Al, I'm not going to lie to you. You'd be surprised how many people have a hard time managing that. That's well, not me. I do like puzzle games a lot. This reminds me a lot of Adventures of Lolo. Just like yours truly. Gunthrow was experienced at clearing out dungeons. He knew exactly how to deal with the common dungeon roach. One swipe of the sword was all it took. Was he a good cook like you? Nah. He lived off of roach gear. Gunthrow had come across a green door. These couldn't be opened by hitting an orb. Oh no! Oh no! Open if the room was clear of all monsters. Oh, shit. Just like I said. Wow. Do you believe it was made in 2012? Are the room using six or fewer orbs? It's like a special challenge. Well, I have no choice but to activate. Well, no, I do have a choice in the beginning, don't I? And go on the theory of what is the bigger pain in the ass. This looks like it's affecting fewer things, so it's probably the thing. That... Orbs under a bit of disrepair. I want to reattempt the objective. I just do restart, and it remembers. If I press R. Orbs under a bit of disrepair. Just lets that guy out and does something down there. I have to kill all enemies, open the green door and get out of here. See, so the problem is I have to be able to hit that and then not die to the roach immediately. It's easier said than done because I have to rotate my sword all the way around. Okay. Another one that affects this. theory is usually pretty accurate maybe it's the thing that looks the least effective theory for this which 
just flips that. I literally have to hit this one. So nodes that will let me in there. That one will, but that's all it does. I could do that one now, though it's not very helpful this late on. I do shit. Backspace. Can't see a count of how many orbs I've interacted with anywhere, right? Imagine this can easily get Baba as you level difficult. It's not very helpful. I can already get the one down there, so you go do that. I don't think I can turn that in time, right? Very tricky. I wish I had a button that let me cycle through because I don't like having to switch to the mouse here. I'll probably change the controls next time we play this. <laughs> Gotta come back out of the corner. There he goes. Something else opened this one. That one does. Preservationist. All right. Can any bumpable wall like contain a secret? Is it worth bumping into most of them like this? Or is it going to be like I'm going to break something? Okay, so it's not just randomly bump into everything to see if it happens to have something. Giant roaches. Gunthrow had reached the Razoran court, but he was surprised by their reception. Welcome, visitor, to the court of Razorus. I have important news. All messengers shall be listened to with care. Uh, the messages literally use the turn weight system. Right That's fun on the left. Fine. I have important We are listening with the utmost respect to your every word. Then let me tell you my important news about. Ah, we see. Very interesting. But I haven't said anything yet. Oh, you've given us more than enough to think about. <laughs> Our actions regarding this matter shall be swift and potent. But... I'm sure you will see favorable results quite soon. The king was murdered by the Twain and Captain. Oh! Oh, what to do? Listen, don't tell anyone, but... We're not really the decision makers around here. We're just here to make people think they're being listened to. You had better go to the east to find the true court. They will know what to do with your news. Okay.
Gunthrow's way was blocked by a series of force arrows, all pointing in different directions. He knew full well that, try as he might, he'd never be able to walk in the opposite direction to the way an arrow was pointing. Luckily for him, Roach... <laughs> I love that there's, like, Gunthrow's diegetic dialogue for all of the... Arrows, all pointing in different directions. He knew full Puzzle well stuff. That's really funny. He'd never be able to walk in the opposite direction to the way an arrow was pointing. Luckily for him, Roaches and other monsters had to obey the same rules. <laughs> really funny it's very cute I probably should have known better okay I need to click on the orb I guess lot of really complicated puzzles in a game like this. Lolo gets super nasty. I had individual rooms in Baba is You that I was stuck on for like over an hour, so I could totally believe it. Turning your sword. From the moment I enter it, presumably. It's a cool little puzzle. Yeah, you, know, you can basically build machines in this game. This is a kind of machine. Turn your sword, got it. Got through a spot in some blue. Blue doors, he was about to say, it sounded like. have the checkpoint mechanic that seemed really helpful imagine once you start incorporating like turn limits this gets really difficult really fast slowly too far up there. Undo only goes back with a single step, right? So you can correct like one mistake. Mega 13 style. Shit. I'm overthinking it now. <laughs> I did it fine the first time without thinking.
Yeah, you only have a brief moment after dying to be able to press it though, right? away from my sword they won't walk into de death essentially right yeah I imagine Amusingly, I did the best intuitively when I first came into this room. Then did worse on every subsequent attempt. It's quite funny. Uh, holding down control, perform a move followed by its opposite. Oh, okay. Kind of a similar idea. As an experienced smite master, Gunthrow knew that a too wide line of roaches was no problem with a bit of sword swinging. Okay. That's cool. I like that there's certain, like, emergent geometry in the game like that, where because of the behaviors of the roaches, if you do this, you'll always kill them. Tricky. trapped in here, right? That's the problem. I saw that when I first came in, but I was curious if it was going to change anything. Not really. Uh, what did he say about the blue doors? Because it cut off when I accidentally left, stepped out of the room. green was when everyone was dead they both do the same thing more permissive green I'm stuck when I'm in this Am I stuck as far back as when I hit this initial switch here? Only closes and only opens. I think there's a mechanic I'm missing here, right? Okay, let me try to figure out why. Oh, I can diagonal through stuff. Okay, thanks. That's gonna be really hard for me to remember. Thanks. I think I played another game that has that concept that would really mess with me. Okay, I think I see. Okay. I think 
I can swing safely here. Can get up through here. Yeah, getting used to being able to move diagonally through some of these arrows is going to be tough for me to get used to as well. Keep getting my rotation wrong. God damn it. Okay. I'll probably use Joy Key to use a controller for this because if I can have Q and W B L and R, that'll be easier for me to remember, I think. from this room. I'm on numpad. Um, so blue requires enemies to die in like adjacent rooms essentially. Every room on the level. This room's like totally done and I don't see any like secret exits from it. The level is anything that says the Razorin court in this case. Filter the enemies like that, it's kind of cool. The sense from the tutorial this is just gonna be like in a discreet episodic uh dungeon levels i don't mind it There's a ton of puzzle design space in this game. Poor little roaches, each have their own little rooms. Oh, now we got a bunch of secret walls. A lot of the older parts of the court annex were falling into disrepair. Some of the walls were even crumbling to dust and could be toppled with a sword strike.
Who knew what secrets might be lurking behind these crumbling walls? I'm never gonna get enough of diegetic storytelling tutorials. It's really funny. He knew in his heart he had to press the A button. It's cool that you can have levels that are teaching you a mechanic instead of the character just telling you. You said this one's the easiest one. Does it... Is that because it has better level design? Like, is it designed to teach you stuff and kind of escalate the challenge? It seems like they give you the rooms with the custom challenges to kind of keep a veteran player interested. Kept secret. Russell and oligarchs rule from behind a carefully maintained facade. Okay. <laughs> the severity of the uh, oh, the soldier. lore is very you funny. Me Reminds me of a little big but adventure. Busy right now. Adding an overworld is kind of a cool choice. I'll help you clear out those vermin. Happy to help. Sorry all your friends died, friend. Hey, can you help me out by killing those roaches? I don't see no roaches. <laughs> oh, those roaches. Uh, now I see them. <laughs> follow me? Do they also move if there are non-me threats nearby? Closest threat. So I was considering that guy in the bottom left the closest threat, I see. Hey, can you help me out by killing those roaches? I don't see no roaches. <laughs> oh, those roaches. Uh, now I see them. Okay. 
and he's gonna come out. Okay. You're operating entirely based on their AI, I see. I assume they're just using the brain AI that has them path smartly instead of just walking straight towards you. Sure, at least one soldier survives. You're not alone. Ooh. Okay, do this again. Wider, wider is a problem. Okay. That's tricky. Okay. Shit, I was okay actually. I needed to hit rewind instead of suicide. Okay. Can't reproduce it now. <laughs> do you like the multiple rewinds you can do there? Calculated. Is. Okay. Can't get out. So he has to kill the guy in the bottom right corner, it looks like. There's no other way for me to deal with him. Let me check though. Maybe there is. Him. That's not good. You know, an area for us to be able to pass each other without hurting each other. governs his movement like he tries to move if he can
just hoping to be able to like diagonal past him here. Just holding wait to see if that does it. Can't tell if he's just moving completely randomly. There we go. Okay. He's stuck now. Oh, I think I can't be down here at all. I didn't notice that earlier. But there was a connection somewhere. Okay. I need to let him let me through, essentially. Okay, I understand. Ah, uh, but I have to be quicker about it. Okay. just kill that thing. Okay, that was cool. Oh god, this is this degenerates to um, a RuneScape uh, piece of content, the worst content in the whole game. The telekinetic maze. It's okay. It's much faster than it is in RuneScape here. You're used to the diagonals. And he's stuck. Okay. to manage him not getting stuck here. Telekinetic maze. It's funny. I'm afraid you have reached a dead end. There is absolutely no way you could continue west. You will have to go back. I'm sure this is very disappointing for you, but there is no point in even trying to continue west. It's not like you could chop through a solid wall with your sword. Or could you? No, no, definitely not. Hey! It's <laughs> funny. And who are you? I'm Gundril Budka. Sounds familiar. I'm a third generation dungeon exterminator. I love that he uses ah, the turn clock to do the cutscenes. Good. I bring important news. We'll be the judge of that. The king was murdered. <gasps> It looked like Sputter. a training officer to me. Maybe even the captain. Of course. The king was to meet with the head of the Twainan army today to discuss trade via smuggler's maze. Using the opportunity to attack the king is definitely something the Twainans would do. Those nasty, untrustworthy Twainans. We could use your help, uh, Grunter. Gunthrow Budgen, sir. Gunthrow Budkin. Traverse the regions around Glum Cove and find the Razarin leaders. Certainly. But where will I find them and what will I say? 
Don't be feeble. You'll find them in their places. You'll say what needs to be said, and the leaders will know what needs doing. You'll pay me? Of course, of course. Then I'm your man. Now go and do your work. Roger. Okay, so it's gonna let me pass somewhere where I previously Take wasn't allowed to pass. Okay, control. here we go. Give it to the ferryman to travel around Glom Cove and find the leaders. Great. Go to get back outside and find that boatman. Ooh. Gotta find the boatman. Ooh. Nice little shortcut spiral level design there. I'd love to see it. Truly is the Dark Souls of Adventures of Lolo type games. The beach. Interesting. That's a lot of options. Smuggler's Maze. Find old Greybeard quickly. He must be at Hevel Hall. So the option to explore everywhere, essentially. Find old Greybeard quickly. Oh. Aurora Bladeseeker dug her way down into the lake. I've not seen her since. The Roach Pits. That's gonna make me die, right? I thought so. For me to ensure that my sword, like they have to walk into my weapon, I guess. Diagonal movement is gonna take me a while to get used to, I think. Assume this game never has like upgrades or anything like every screen is independently solvable immediately as soon as you approach it i guess the one thing is that screen dependency is the blue doors that does work okay that was what i was confused about but... really tricky okay so movement happens simultaneously but not really i get to go like a frame before the enemy right let me add that to my future marstead text file So 
added that to my text file. In most circumstances, it appears to be simultaneous, but it isn't. Pits were infested with roach queens. Gunther checked his smite. The roach pits were infested with roach queens. Gunther checked his smiter's clock. Ah, those clocks are from the olden days. He knew it would soon come in handy. Your pocket watch is cooler. Thanks. Can I have it? I think I hear your mother call. The roach pits were infested with. The roach pits were infested with roach queens. Gunther checked his smiter's clock. Ah. I don't know if it's possible for me to escape this. It must be. Gunthrow too. checked his smiter's clock. Ah, those clocks are from the olden days. He knew it would soon come in handy. Your pocket watch is cooler. Thanks. Can I have it? Uh, I think I hear your mother call. Ah. To solve this from a different direction, I guess. Just like clockwork, the roach queens have laid some eggs. Oh, I see. Let's go like this. That diagonal is really gonna fuck me up for a long time. You'd have to get the roach queens fast, but they'd keep on producing a never-ending. Roaches are. Yeah, sorry. I, I do a lot of uh, like not actually asking chat. <laughs> Say things rhetorically a lot. My bad. Sorry. It's already too late. The roach pits were infested with roach queens. Gunthrow checked his smiter's clock. Ah, those clocks are from the olden days. He knew it would soon come in handy. Your pocket watch is cooler. Thanks. Can I have it? Thanks. I think I hear your mother call. Already too late once I step on that, I think. The roach pits were in The roach pits were infested with roach queens. Gunthrow checked his The roach pits were infested with roach queens. Gunthrow checked his smiter's clock. Ah, those clocks are from the olden days. He knew it would soon come in handy. Your pocket watch is cooler. Thanks. Can I have it? Okay, so I need to think about this so I don't get a reset. As soon as I walk on the checkpoint, am I already dead? I think I am already dead if I walk on that, so I don't know how to deal with them. Um, Maybe if I already have my sword before I step there? Okay. The roach Try pits that. were infested with roach queens. Gunthrow checked his smiter's clock. Ah, those clocks are from the olden days. He knew it would soon come in handy. Your pocket watch is cooler. Thanks. Can I have it? Uh, I think I hear your mother call. Oh god, I hit R by mistake. Okay. The roach pits were infested with roach queens. Gunthrow checked his smiter's clock. Ah, those clocks are from the olden days. He knew it would soon come in handy. Your pocket okay. watch is cooler. Thanks. Can I have it? Uh, the idea I is that I if I go diagonal, he'll die before he gets to act. Just like clockwork, the roach queens have laid some eggs. Okay. Got it. Progress. They soon hatch into deadly roaches. He'd have to get the roach queens fast, but they keep on producing a never ending stream of new offspring. Roaches are cool. Didn't I say not to interrupt? Oh, then I get stuck. Shit. 
shit. Okay. Uh, now what? Those are gonna lock me out. Let me get back out. Okay. One does not lock me out. He will move directly onto me if I do that. Yeah, okay. That helps, I think. That's tricky. Uh, diagonals are very, very mean. Okay. That one I have to do last, because otherwise I lock myself in with them. This one I theoretically can do, I just don't know what the trick to it's going to be. Try to save. Do that, that probably helps. <laughs> Number of times I'm like, okay, it's a Q or W. gets me killed okay this guy like gets me to me faster so maybe this is less dangerous than i thought it was initially oh it's depending on where my sword is because my sword is stopping one from moving toward me but not the other one this thing always opens always closes so hitting it again does nothing okay yeah a lot of this requires like Completely kind of changing the way your brain thinks about a stage like this. There's very few things I can do here, right? So I can immediately walk, but immediately walking is death no matter what, because they can both diagonally move toward me. So my first step must be a sword rotation, which is either left or right. They're symmetrical with each other, so it literally doesn't matter. So I do one sword rotation. If I go down into the right, I die. If I go up into the right, I die, because my sword isn't facing in the right spot. Right? So this, this is a silly question, but this is still solvable from this state that I'm in right here, right? wondering if there's like a diagonal movement mechanism that I'm getting confused by. Wait, does this not close the one behind me? Oh, I'm confused. Hold on, let me see if I can understand what that is. So that's orange, not red okay i didn't realize that was a toggle 
Yeah, I knew that. I just didn't realize that was supposed to be orange. I wish they used a different color for it. Okay. Um, all right. You see what we mean about three wide versus two wide? Okay. So this is already death then. So what does it help me to have the one in the back? And trap a couple of them, I guess, which is helpful. I can do here. Oh, that's interesting. Nice. know where I'm going so it'll always kill me there okay red red let me open Like this, I'm always dead because of the way they follow me. Um, I'm seeing the breakable walls here. I assume I have to do that early for some reason. I don't know why you have to. Do that what changes though. Both lock me in here, right? So I may as well open this one sooner. Well, let's try doing this one only, I guess. And I have a problem where I can't get Oh, I can give myself more room. Okay, I understand, I think. Okay, so I didn't appreciate that in the game's geometry, if you can move diagonal when you're a certain number of tiles ahead of a roach, you can escape them. That's helpful. Okay. Gotcha. Queens were cowardly and always ran away from people with swords. Uh. Cowardly Roach Queens.
Let's see these. I don't know what the best way I wanted to use these. Oh shit. Kill another queen. Yeah, it's crazy how much the like puzzle design space there is just in the Roach Queen, right? Like it's kind of wild actually. You think it's like a super simple mechanic, but A lot of puzzles you can make just using those, it feels like. save. I was breaking stuff there. We're okay. everything I can, I guess, while I can. Ah. I need to save again. Dead roaches are good here. Chip. Most of the danger is gone. Chet, let me do that. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, 
Nice. That was a tricky room. Clear the room without the queen laying any eggs. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess I have to come at it from a specific angle for that to even be possible, right? Oh, she doesn't lay eggs. If she has no room to lay eggs, it doesn't count as her laying them. I have to make her run away from me. You played this before, Fisha? Tell me I can like lock her in. Oh, so you don't you didn't know for sure that the egg laying when they were blocked would um so let me pass the objective. Okay, I thought I could reset this, I guess not. Telekinetic phase. Wait, so can she also not lay them on specific kinds of tiles? It looks like she should have been able to lay them plenty of times here. So this just means to make sure she doesn't lay an egg by the time she gets out, I guess. Yeah, that she's always trying to move away from me. I don't know how I can use that to my advantage to get her to go through the sections I want her to go through. I need to think of her like an ice block, I think. The diagonals or whatever. Slightly confusing. That's not very helpful. Okay, so I need to understand what prompts her to move diagonally. I get center up like this, that's not helpful to me. Maybe it's helpful to me in the long term, and it's a pain in the ass theory. Unfortunately, I don't feel her movement the way I was feeling the other roach's movement. Okay, so if I'm on the same rank or column is her. I can force her to move diagonal, I think. I think this is what we can get on the other side of her. abstractly imagine where I'd have to be standing to get her to go through that arrow in the center. There she'll go diagonal, which I don't want. She won't go diagonal. This is definitely the hardest room that I've encountered by like a factor of like 10.
There she goes. I don't know. I did not intuit what I did differently there to make that work. And she'll get kicked back out if she stays here. So. I think I might be feeling a little bit better here. There's a weight puzzle. Give myself plenty of time for her eggs here. Might not have given myself enough time. So it's like I need to like start moving as soon as it would push her through an egg cycle. Okay. So we go as late as we can. This is maybe good enough so that she spawns it. Okay. Looks like that's pretty precise timing. You maybe you're allowed like one or two moves, Grace. This one. This is the same idea as take advantage of the timing here so that I can kill them and get on a good cycle, I guess. better time cycle still have big problems I die in a corner here yeah. okay They're trapped there. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, let's go. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. I think this is the best possible time step to have them on. I think it's where they waste their spawn the instant I open the gate. Um, but then I don't know if there's anything I can do with this now. I have to think more about how I'm going to move. So 
There's a minor asymmetry at the start. I have to be as efficient with moves as possible because of the queens. Now they have that, so I can't just like effortlessly kill them in that corner and be safe for the rest of the level, I think. Yeah, okay. So I still have to wait, get a way to get out of here. Okay, also roaches are not allowed to spawn. Um, Use my words here. Roaches are not permitted to spawn where my sword is, which makes sense. I'm dead now, no matter where I go. It's helpful. Dead again. Hey, Alfalfa, how you doing? Can't rotate. This checkpoint may already be dead, but I'm not sure yet. If you've ever played Adventures of Lolo or Baba is You, there's a lot of similar games. Puzzle games. Baba is You is Adventures of Lolo with no violence. I guess sometimes there's violence. So am I, have I already failed once she's through there? I think so, because I can't get out then. Spawn point change. Is the question. Hmm. Yeah, I need her to make babies here so that she gets stuck. Babies behave differently than she does. Okay. So I'm on pain in the ass theory, I suspect the biggest pain in the ass would be to make her make babies. Let me see if I can force that to happen. Now she's going to definitely walk into that tile from which she can't escape, but maybe that's fine. Oh, no, if she... She'd have to already have the babies for that to help me. They can't place it on arrow tiles. They can't place it on door tiles. Where else can they not place it? Ooh. Always gonna flee the same way.
diagonals further. Mm -hmm. I'm right that this is only solvable from one side, right? From one of the entrances, the other one is just always unsolvable. some kind of weird diagonal shenanigan that would be annoying there's nothing that's connected just along a diagonal I guess I'll ask chat, does this one involve forcing the Roach Queen to sp spawn babies? Because I'm kind of like really enamored with that concept to the point that I'm not wanting to drop it. If it's not correct, then I'll drop it. It doesn't. Okay, thank you. Let's do different pain in the ass theory that is this okay because i think i can get out of there gotcha yeah because it's like if you think of it from the perspective of like why is this nook here there's no reason for that to be there and then i can oh i can literally just walk through that arrow i don't know why i thought i couldn't okay i probably would have recognized that i think i did that a while ago and didn't realize i had solved it already very good. Oh, that's interesting. What does that accomplish? Nothing? Oh. both of those lock my way to get back out immediately okay let me just check literally all that does literally all that does okay just be careful about where the sword is pointing click off it okay getting that corner always locks me in I thought it was gonna be the you have to make her spawn babies. This happens to me a lot in Baba as you, where I like intuit the harder f version of the puzzle the first time I see it, and then get struggled really trying to force it to happen. So the very common question you're gonna get from me is, am I on the wrong track? Um, so I don't really wanna know the answer. I just wanna know if I'm just completely in the wrong universe, you know? So she can't get out. And these literally only open. Can't go on the diagonal. Oh, right, I can't have my sword there.
point is that both of them aren't allowed to be open, maybe? Blocks being there aren't helping me with her behavior. This is another diagonal confusion thing. I can't diagonal there or there or there. Uh, it is true that touching these is a death sentence, right? I literally can't escape if I touch either of these orbs. So I have to figure out why are those orbs there? Like what? What activity is the orb, are they trying to stop me from doing? I have to figure that out. Um, is it true that the puzzle is still solvable if both the top and bottom yellow orbs here are hit? Just want to make sure that there's not like a significant downside to hitting both of them. Okay. So if the puzzle is still solvable, Oops. What has that changed and why does it make, why are those there? What is that doing that's making my life harder? Shit. Thinking to myself, I don't, I don't know the answer. can't get out of there. Do that, but then I'm... So oh, I can get out if I stand on that. Okay. Okay, so that's an important lesson that I didn't understand previously. I thought I was screwed as soon as I stepped there. So the orbs are there so that my sword can't be preemptively turned because if it was turned now I would hit the orb and okay yeah because I could do this and then do that and I was like ah everything's fine but now I literally can't escape so how the fuck else am I supposed to do that what the hell maybe okay I think I know what it is I think it's I have to rotate in the very long direction It's the exact same problem. <sighs> this one's got me like completely befuddled because there's like so few things I can do, which should make the puzzle easier. <laughs> so there's some like weird interaction that I'm just not rocking at all staring at it. Um, maybe it's, I've already pointed this way, then I can go in and hit him, right? If she's there. Can I arrange for myself to already be pointed the right way is the question. So once I'm up here, he's already running away. That can't be it. God, this one's hard. Um, I might ask for a hint in a second, but let me think about it. Maybe if y'all wouldn't mind an exclamation point hide chat, maybe discuss a hint that won't completely give it away. If you can come up with something, it might be too simple of a puzzle that there's no way to, to give me a hint that doesn't just tell me the answer. Turning it all the way around the long way seems like it's promising, but I don't know that it actually helps me because as soon as I move here, it's already gone. And that's the best, this is the best, the most powerful spot I have, I think, is right here. Because I can move diagonally 
And if it were dead, it would not be able to escape me. But I can't have my sword pointed where I need it to be pointed because of those stupid yellow orbs in the center. How into hell? Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I don't need a hint then. That was... I didn't earn that, though. That was random chance. Uh, calculated. Any more of these are there? Come in via diagonals. Is there some kind of special shape I can create here that filters them in a way that's more advantageous to me? Magic plus sign was in the previous puzzle, so I wonder if that is a piece of geometry in this game that's more powerful than is apparent the first time you encounter it. So I'm going to preserve some of these blocks, but maybe I don't. No, I almost certainly do. interesting is I'm forced to break the corners here even if I don't want to. Okay. Uh, that was totally based on vibes, not I was not thinking about that at all. But I don't think it was the right answer. Oh shit, I wanted to hit, I very instinctively hit rewind and I mean to hit backspace. Sure, yeah, I enjoy it. It's good. I like puzzle games like this. I'm trying to force a two by two, basically. Okay, that was good. A one by one is also good. One wide hallway, I should say. the fuck is that supposed to work? Hmm. 
Literally only affects that door. Literally only affects those. What the fuck? See the walls. This is an orange, is it? Oh, it's open. Oh, I know what it is, doy. I'm really gonna struggle with this. Okay. Let me, let me put in giant all caps letters in my future Marsa file. You can move diagonally. And if you are stuck, it's probably because you forgot. Idiot. Um, all right, so Really my only option. Can't I reset it? Okay. These are completely symmetrical. It doesn't matter which side I attempt the puzzle solution from. Not like a secret other path to get me to that can't change the behavior of the roaches in the room okay so doesn't matter this must be the starting point i think that's true or the the symmetrical mirrored version below it um, so now the possibility space has shrunk significantly. I can wait, which is almost certainly going to be death. I can move back one. I can move right one. I guess I can go up diagonally one. react to me. Okay. That's still death regardless, so it's not a diagonal. Waiting, just confirming that that is in fact death. Maybe waiting's not death. That would be crazy if that's the answer. I think waiting's death. So what, okay, let me try to predict what happens if I do things. So if I go, I move back, they all come at me, right? Easier to just demonstrate that. Uh, we're at time, so I might need to leave this puzzle to poor future me. Which is okay, this is probably a good starting puzzle. Um, future Mars said, read the Drawed 4 text file. There's a bunch of information already in there that will help you. What you're doing here is you're doing a bunch of puzzles in this general area uh, until you kill all the enemies. And once you do that, you'll eventually open a blue door somewhere. Um, so if you go to a zone and you see all the enemies are dead and the green door is open, you're good to go and you can leave. This puzzle is going to involve hitting the switch and then killing the roaches in some way that lets you get out of this room without dying. Uh, there doesn't seem to be that many options, right? You can either go up or you can rotate. Oh, maybe that's that felt okay. Uh, 
No, it's not it. Figure it out. Good luck. It's hard. <laughs> uh, the game is just saving constantly. Do I have to do anything to manually save it? Play from anywhere you've been. Or am I good? Good on saving? Okay, thanks. Look like Monty Python. Danforth Strout, the world's greatest salesman. 